Psalm 67, verse 1, it says, God, be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah, that thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. It says, God be merciful to us. That seems to speak corporate rather than individual, doesn't it? Uh, and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah. And the more individuals get revived, the more the whole body will be affected by these, these energized, on fire lives, it will affect other lives, right? So, so there is a connection between the individual and the us, for sure. And I always like to ask the question, do we still need it? I think COVID-19, although it brought a lot of positive things, some of us were dragged into the world of technology, kicking and screaming against our own will, but there's been some very negative things. There's, there's been divisions amongst the people of God. The reason we fellowship together is because we love the same Savior. It's not because of our views on this side or that side of different arguments. But it has caused divisions. It, it has... Um, some of us have got used to Zoom as a way of life. So there are some that should be back meeting face to face and it's more convenient to be at home in your PJs supping coffee and listening to good ministry. God has not given us the spirit of fear. But some are petrified. Now I know COVID is real. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. I know it's real. You know, when I look at church history and I look at pre previous pandemics like the cholera epidemic in the days of George Mueller, what the Christians did was not retreat, they advanced. They went out ministering to the sick and dying, and yes, some of them got it and died. But they died with their boots on, ministering to a lost and dying world. But the Christians were not retreating, they were advancing. And some of us are so crippled by fear. And you know why they're crippled by fear? I'm going to give you one reason. They're listening more to the media than they are to God, right? You need to listen to the voice of God from the Word of God. And that will eliminate fear and embolden you. So we definitely need revival. And the Lord in, in instructed us to pray and not faint. Luke 18 verse 1. In other words, it, this, this is not a time to faint. We've got to press on. God be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Somebody asked me last night, and I thought it was a good question, what, what exactly do we have in mind here this week when we've adopted this passage when we say God bless us? Because sometimes our prayers can be very generic, right? And, and well, God bless us, you know, God bless the missionaries. Well, what do we mean by that? Do we have anything specific in mind? I thought that was a good question. And so let's talk about what we mean by blessing. I want to suggest to you that blessing would look like this. Christians living holy lives rather than addicted to pornography or some other form of sin, but Christians actually living holy lives. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Because there's a lot of dirt in the church today. That's why we need reviving. And you see, if we want to see revival, I believe there's something attractive about somebody who has the glory of God reflected on their countenance.